Hey, it's Jay from Soap Making Fun. If you've been thinking about starting your own soap business, or you currently have one, you're going to love this video. In it, I'm going to talk about the typical approach most people take when running their soap business, and why you should definitely do things differently. Now, before I get into the meat of this video, I just want to say a couple things. The first is that the typical method of running soap business does work. People do it all the time, and many people do very well at it. However, there is a better and easier way to do it that will make you much more money. That is what I'm going to cover in this video. I just wanted to say that because I don't want people thinking that I'm saying that the typical method doesn't work. It does. So don't get mad at me if you currently run your business the way I'm about to describe. Oh, and this method I'm about to describe does not include people who sell their soaps wholesale. This method is for the people that do direct sales like at craft shows and uh, street festivals, things of that nature. Okay, so the way the typical model works is that a person will determine the price of their products and then choose a method of getting their products in front of the customers. If they are really savvy, then they will first determine how much money they need per month and set a goal on how many uh, products to sell in order to make that amount of money. So, for our example, let's say that Amy did the math and determined that she needed $3,000 per month to, cover, to uh, cover her business expenses and her living expenses. She also figured out that from experience of selling her soap at craft shows, that her average sale per customer is $25. This means that she will need at least 120 sales per month to have her business support her full time. So, Amy does what the majority of soap business owners do. She goes out to get 120 customers. She goes to craft shows and street festivals. She sells her soap to friends and at church. And she makes her goal of 120 sales that month. And she's happy. But she also knows that she's going to have to do the same amount next month. The next month rolls around and she does it all over again. A few of her past customers buy from her again, but for the most part, she has to go out and get most of the 120 sales all over again from new customers. Now again, this model does work and you can go out and do things this way and make a living at it. But what if there was a better way? What if there was a way to actually make more money from your business but need fewer new customers to do it? See, what most soap business owners do not take advantage of is what I call the real power of a soap business. And I'll talk about that in the next video.